Dow 7 on display at the USA Science and Engineering Festival in 2010. A Doppler on Wheels unit observing a tornado near Attica, Kansas data gathered by a Doppler on Wheels unit showing a tornado near La Grange, Wyoming Doppler on Wheels is. A fleet of X-band and C-band radar trucks managed by the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and previously maintained by the Center for Severe Weather Research in Boulder. Colorado, led by Principal Investigator Joshua Werman, with the funding largely provided by the National Science Foundation. The Dow fleet and its associated mobile mesonets and deployable weather stations were lower atmospheric observing facilities national facilities supporting a wide variety NSF-sponsored research. They are now included in the NSF's Community Instruments and Facilities Program led by Pi Karen Kosiba. As of 2022, there are three operational DAOs out of a total of eight constructed since 1995. Two of the three, DAOs 6 and 7, are dual polarization, dual frequency, quick scanning Doppler weather radars. These radars have the highest transmitting power of any mobile X band system with dual 250 kilowatts transmitters. The third, Referred to as the Rapid Scan DAO, features a custom phased array antenna that allows for multiple elevation scans to be completed simultaneously. The RIS DAO can also be configured into a single beam, single frequency, single polarization radar. Each DAO is also equipped with a communication mast that hosts various weather instruments. Several instrumented mobile mesonet pickup trucks host in situ weather instrumentation on three. Five meter masts to complement the remote sensing radars. These mobile mesonets also carry approximately 20 instrumented pods, which are ruggedized, quickly deployable weather stations designed to survive inside tornadoes, tropical cyclones, and other adverse environments. The Dow fleet is sometimes accompanied by a mobile operations and repair center, a large van containing workstations for infield coordination, data management, and equipment repair. The Dow fleet has collected data in 200 tornadoes and inside the cores of 13 hurricanes. DAOs have been deployed to Europe twice, for the MAP and COPS field programs, and to Alaska twice for the JAWS Juno projects. DAOs have operated as high as 12,700 feet on Bristol Head and at 10,000 feet for the ASCII project at Battle Pass. Three DAOs, mobile mesonets and pods were deployed for the Owls Lake Effect Snow Study. The DAOs have participated in many field programs including Vortex, Vortex 2, COPS, MAP, ASCII, IHOP, SCMS, Cases, Rotate, Pamrex, Snowed Under. Flatland, Hero, Uido, Undio. The Dow fleet was deployed to the Nocturnal Convection Study, Kakan, in June to July 2015. In late 2018, the Dow facility debuted a new quickly deployable C band radar featuring a larger antenna and 5 cm wavelength. Due to the larger size of the antenna, the truck features a built in crane allowing for the radar to be assembled on site. The cow was first deployed as part of the Relampago field campaign in Argentina in late 2018. In November 2020, it was announced that the Department of Atmospheric Sciences at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign would become the managing partner of the Dow facility. The contract includes three Dows, the cow, and three mobile mesonet vehicles as well as sounding systems and other instrumentation. The partnership was funded through department money and outside research grants from the NSF and other agencies. After joining UIAC, the facility and its associated instrumentation were officially renamed the farm. The farm will participate in multiple field campaigns in 2022 including winter mix and perils. Dow data led to the discovery of sub-kilometer hurricane boundary layer rolls, which likely modulate wind damage and may play a key role in hurricane intensification. Dow data revealed the most intense winds ever recorded, and the largest tornadic circulation ever documented, also May 3, 1999 in Mulhall. Okay, and made the first 3D maps of tornado winds and sub-tornadic vortex winds, and documented intense vortices within lake effect snow bands. About 70 peer-reviewed scientific publications have used Dow data. The Dow fleet, pods, and mobile mesonets have been featured on television, including Discovery Channel's reality series Storm Chasers, National Geographic Channel's specials Tornado Intercept and the True Face of Hurricanes and PBS's Nova episode The Hunt for the Super Twister, and others. There are currently two major projects planned to expand the farm's capabilities. The first is the creation of an S-band on wheels network featuring four quickly deployable S-band radars with 10 cm wavelengths capable of seeing through intense precipitation. 
These smaller truck-mounted radars would replace a single large S-band radar, allowing for dual Doppler analyzes and quicker deployment times. The second planned project is the Bistatic Adaptable Radar Network which will be integrated with existing DAOs and the cow to provide high-resolution wind vector observations without the need for multiple, expensive transmitters. These bistatic receivers will consist of small antennas that can be deployed like pods or mounted onto a mobile mesonet or similar vehicle. Thanks for watching.